Same intro, same chorus first. It's just poetry. My first hit. Recording studio. But you never know. Taxi cab. It's a survival. See how far I can take it. Yeah, it was a lot of success. I'm yelling to my. Riding Timber was one of the most eye-opening experiences that I've had as a writer. My name is Priscilla Renee. I am an artist, singer-songwriter, and all-around entertainer. I've written lots of songs for lots of artists. Something Bad for Carrie Underwood and Miranda Lambert. Don't Wake Me Up for Chris Brown, California Kingbed, Rihanna, Fifth Harmony, Worth It, Mary J. Blige, Don't Mind, Timber for Pitbull and Kesha. Timber was the first song that I wrote after leaving my former management that turned into like a three-year battle, which was very difficult to keep, you know, going and keep fighting. But I knew that I didn't do anything wrong. I have loved music since I was a little child. Just anything musical, it's just like I, I love pizza and I love music. It's, you know, you can't really explain it. You just, you just love pizza. <laughs> so I started writing songs on YouTube. So people keep saying that I could sing the dictionary. It might not be very entertaining, but I'm gonna do it. Dictionary. And I was like, oh my gosh, people like this. Let me record another video. And I think part of the reason why I would like spend hours and hours uploading videos on YouTube is I was just bored. I didn't have anything to do. My mom didn't let me go anywhere. I had to ask to go outside till I was 19. I used to think she was so mean, but I'm her only daughter. She just wanted to protect me, I think. She just knew like, my daughter is a marshmallow and she's gonna get roasted if she goes out, out that door. I was very quiet as a kid. I grew up in a household that was like, you only speak when you're spoken to, don't talk back. And so music was my way of like communicating. It was my way of saying the things that I really wanted to say. You know, like, shut up, mom. Yeah, I could never say that out loud. So I just put it in a song. I got my first guitar after begging my dad for an instrument. And the first song I ever wrote was just the top string. Boom, 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 boom. You know, it was horrible, but people loved it. I think that was one of my first videos that got a million views. People watched the videos and they were like, this girl is dope. I didn't know it was called songwriting. I was just doing what came naturally to me. But I had no idea that there was this whole world and culture of people curating a vibe for artists to you know, present to the world. It grew to a pace of where I was like writing at least two songs a day in every session, five sessions a day. And then I started to like get points on the board. They're like, oh man, she's legit. And my name was just everywhere. They're like, who is this girl? You know, she's just writing everything. When I signed with my first management back in 2009, um, the very first question I asked him when I met him in New York was, are you going to be nice? And I remember he was facing the window with his hands on his hips and he turned around and was like, <clears throat> like he laughed. And I was like, did I say something funny? Did I tell a joke? I was like really serious. And based on the way things went over the next four years, it makes sense why he laughed. I just felt that things weren't right. There were questions that went unanswered that should have been easy to answer. You know, we all have that, that radar within us as humans. You know, when the hair start raising up on the back of your neck, something doesn't feel right, it's probably not right. I felt like people took advantage of me. There's a stigma when you're young and you're a musician. You're reckless, you are a rock star, you don't care, you have no respect, no regard for authority. And it was completely the opposite for me. I'm like, dude, I just want to write music. I did fire them, and that turned into like a three-year battle. I thought, if I quit, if I give up, the other people that this is happening to, because I know it ain't just me, if they look up and they see me with as much success as I've had, just imagine how many other people would be like, well, I don't I have a chance in hell. Especially as a brown girl, like a lot of people feel like, Nobody's gonna respect you. Like, what do you know? Who's gonna have your back? 
Financially, he was Goliath and I was David. The legal bills racked up so fast. I just felt like, what do I need to do to be done with this? I picked up the phone and I called my publisher. Sometimes you just need to be humble and just admit that you need help. They just kind of put their hand out and was like, all right, we'll, we'll do you a solid on this. And I was just so happy to get away from them. I felt like I won. It was tough to go back into the studio. The original plan was to just like lay low until everything had blown over and then I could just start fresh. But you write a song and you don't get paid on that song for two years after it comes out. So I couldn't wait too long because then there would be this huge gap of like income. Because I know what that feels like and how scary that is, I don't wanna go back there. And so it was, it was kind of like very cautious, like baby steps, like, all right, you know, let's see what happens. I went in the studio with Breon Isaacs. We just clicked automatically. Working with a co-writer is like being in a marriage because you definitely have to have an element of trust. Breon made me feel comfortable just because he was real. You know, that's what, that's what I look for. I look for the people who are comfortable in being themselves. Sometimes I just see words and I'm just like, that is a cool word and I like the way it looks. That's part of the thing that helped me on YouTube actually is that I would choose titles and I would write songs based on what I thought would look cool. And I think Timber was one of those things. It just looked cool. We were just having fun in the studio and I remember saying, swing your partner round and round and that it's going down. And um, Brian was like, you're laughing, but that's actually hot. He helped with the cool factor, because sometimes I can be a little bit too poetic. I can be like, yes, in the water, it was like velvet on my skin. And he's just like, nah, bro, water. <laughs> you know? The song actually took about 20 minutes to write. We recorded it that day. And I think some of those vocals from that day are still on the record. We knew it was good. We were dancing around. We were like, we got one. This is dope. Woo! We didn't hear anything for maybe like two weeks. And we got an email like, Pitbull wants to cut the song. Oh my God. Kesha ended up being on the song. When you put Pitbull and Kesha on a record together, automatic hit. When it went number one, I was like, boo yeah. I told you I wasn't going anywhere. Thought you was gonna keep me down. Psych, I'm here. A little fun fact, when that song was number one, and it was all over the playoffs, NBA playoffs, I had seven cents in my bank account. 0.07, and I was like, that's great. I went out for drinks with a few friends at this place in Santa Monica, and they're playing timber. And I'm like, oh, huh, this is cool. Didn't say anything, I just sat down in a group, and they all kind of looked at me like, hi, who are you, stranger? And I'm like, yeah, you guys like to party a lot. And they're like, yeah, especially we love this song. I was like, really? And they were like, what do you do? I was like, well, I actually wrote this. And they're like, no, -uh, shut up. They were like, really? Oh my God. And they all started freaking out. They were like, we love this song. This is a song that like defined our year. And we put this song in our time capsule. And it was just kind of like cool to see that something that I did was very impactful in other people's lives. So to kind of have that song come out and to have it do what it did, to be a, a major artist, first single off their project and to have it go number one and to have it be everywhere was like, ha, 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 ha.